Hi friends, I'm Olga Kölsch and welcome back to my studio. We have a lot of rain here in Bergen and that means we have a lot of flowers and leaves covered with raindrops and I think adding here and there a water drop into your painting really adds some cutiness, some very special feeling to it and that's why I decided to devote this lesson how to paint a water drop, how to add a water drop into your ready painted flower. So let's start. Let's firstly explore the anatomy of a droplet, of a drop, a water drop. Let's say this is a leaf, this is a drop. There is al always, always a light source. Either it is a sun uh, or um, some light bulb, it doesn't matter. The sun shines at the point where sun shines directly at the drop. That will be a reflection spot, the most light area of the droplet. But that's not all, because sun shines through the droplet. It is transparent. That means like this part of droplet will be the lightest one. Sun shines that creates a shadow on the opposite side of, of the drop. And as it is very light here, the shadow is also relatively light. And as the drop is transparent, we could see the surface of what's underneath, uh, either leaf or petal, any surface. We could see through the drop and there is also a shade, the, um, the shadow on, on that opposite side, inside the drop. So this is basic principles of drawing a drop on a leaf. Now let's paint it. Now let's place a drop in one of the leaves, for example here. I water my brush, I remove a little bit of water on a, with a paper towel and just with the tip of the brush I start to prepare place for a drop. I lift the color just with my clean and wet brush. Sometimes it also helps if you press your paper towel to the surface. Most of watercolor papers allows you to do this trick after they are thoroughly dry. And actually it is even more recommended to do it like this than to leave these light spots uh, when you paint, because that will keep a little bit of underneath surface and that will look more organically. So that's, that's enough. You could organize any shape you like. Now we have to get a color similar to our leaf. I think it was something, some mix of burnt sienna and dull green or olive green. Not that important. So I'm mixing something, trying to be relatively close to what I had. It should be dense and dark because now we are going to paint this, this contrast, this shade. So with the tip of the brush, I go around and paint small outline on both sides, but remember about this um, light 
comes through all the area it leaves and it leaves some light point it already looks like a drop but let's add another outline on the top it could be a little bit lighter and with the tip of the brush dump brush you distribute a little bit the green color down to the body of to the body of the drop soften everything soften everything remember that the middle part should be the lightest part but feel free to add more and more contrast into the shady parts just like this and once it dries you could either paint a light drop with marker with a pencil or just take a knife and cut it out same principle but now i would like to show you another trick if it's difficult for you to lift up the color with a brush you could use this type of kitchen sponge it's a very nice one it sells in household stores not in art stores and you have to water it a little bit and use it as an eraser let's find a nice spot for a drop and I, I use it as an eraser and it lift colors like magic like magic wand it all also helps to remove some unnecessary details for example or drops um, which you occasionally put on your paper once it, uh, the area is dry we need the same color but in very dense and very bold mix and let's firstly remember that sun shines from there that means underneath there will be a very bold shade shadow and on the top we could take things a little bit lighter and you know that also will be some shady part and a very bright reflection but reflection we add at the very last point so basically it is done we could either set a drop uh, you could use marker you could use gouache or you can take a knife yes you could take a knife and very gentle scrap out I, I can show you on the other area if you scrap out very gently you will get perfect perfect um, reflection so we could even paint another droplet here Would be nice to lift the color before but um like this you could see why we are lifting colors because that brings this uh, feeling of water or watery transparency in it so let's scrap it a little bit more you really have to sc scrap it under uh, until you get this just pure white paper it works only like like this so now you have your beautiful drop it's important not to overdo it and we have beautiful <laughs> drops all over the flower you could really go uh, <laughs> knock yourself and um, add as many drops as you need and you could play around because drops sometimes they are not really round they could have some shapes and in this case the principle will stay the same but the reflection will be just on each and every uh, round areas
again draw uh, shadows outlines and some body color of the body just like this it's very simple thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed these tricks and i hope you feel inspired to add some drops into your ready paintings because it it makes a difference right and i'm looking for your feedback i read each and every comment i invite you to join my membership where we practice a lot with watercolor during during all the year <laughs> and i see you next time bye bye